Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about eight signs you can recognize in your life that you are born spiritual healer, that you came here to this world to help people evolve spiritually. And it doesn't mean that you've already figured everything out and you already know that this is me, this is what I need to do. But you find yourself on a different path than most people. You find yourself dealing with different challenges than most people. Or you find yourself not fitting into the crowd. Like you just feel you need to do something differently. Often it's a sign for many, many people who started spiritually evolving at a young age that since the beginning of their childhood, they just didn't fit in. So the first sign, my friends, to recognize that you are a born spiritual healer is that you're highly sensitive to energy. So if you feel like highly sensitive to energy, like you can sense what kind of energy is in the air, you can recognize what kind of energy you feel today, not just on your emotional level, like not because you had a bad sleep and you say, well, today is a bad energy in the air, but you can read the energy. You can feel it. You can enter into a room and you can sense what's there. Is that you? Highly sensitive to energy. It's a sign that you're a spiritual healer. It's an important gift because often when we're helping others, it's important to be able to read their energy, right? And many of you may already feel it. Because when you read energy of a person, sometimes we know that the words are not coming from the truth. Sometimes we use words to stay on the surface. But when you read the energy, you see beneath the surface. And that is a powerful gift that helps, that can help others to get deeper into themselves. So, if that is you, it's a sign that you're a born spiritual healer. The second sign is that you felt like an outcast for most of your life. And it may be true due to your child, childhood, right? Maybe because of your parents where you were growing up, you felt like an outcast. But most probably you felt like you just don't fit in. Like you are not for, for what most people are following, right? Because maybe as a little kid you've already understood what life is all about. That we're all here on a path of evolution. And many, people, may, many things that we're doing are not helping us to evolve. So most people are following that stuff and you found out at a young age that you don't want to interact with it. You're all about nature. You're all about uh, uh, greater awareness of yourself. You're all about uh, embodying the greatest possible version you can be. You're all about manifestation. You're all about shifting your mindset. You're all about understanding your emotional system better. And because of that, it made you an outcast. So if you felt like an outcast for most of your life, it's a great sign that you are a spiritual healer. The third sign is that you are that what we often call natural peacemaker between people. Is that you? Like people are arguing. And you get there and you make peace. Is that you? Seeking peace because you know that only when we are peaceful we can find the greatest possible solutions. We can heal each other when we are peaceful. When we are peaceful we can find answers to the biggest problems we have or biggest challenges we are dealing with. When we are in peace with ourselves we see, we see our vision for the future clearly. Is that you, my friend? Because if you feel like a natural peacemaker, it's a sign of a spiritual healer. And you need that. Especially 
when you're helping others. Because, you know, when we get in peace with ourselves, there start, it's, it's like a beginning of a completely new flow of energy in a conversation. And it leads us to much greater depths than when we are in emotional reactions. That's why peace is so powerful. So if that's you, it's a sign of a spiritual healer. The fourth sign that you are a spiritual healer is that you feel drained after spending too much time around people. Like, you can easily attach to the energies of others. And because you sense a lot of energy in the room or of other people, it may drain you out. If that's you, well, firstly, we need to learn to empower our energy. We need to learn to protect our energy. We need to learn to make it stronger. And often, when we start strengthening our bodies, we also start strengthening our energy system. Because body is a vehicle of your soul, of your energy. And if you start strengthening your body, it will help you to strengthen your energy. Then the second thing is the mind. If we, are, if we are constantly overthinking, it is draining a lot of our energy. If we are gossiping, talking negatively about others, we are attaching to that darker energy. So if you feel drained after spending too much time around people, it's a sign of a spiritual healer. But this one is really important to understand that... It's important to work on that. To not just say, well, because I am like that, I'm often drained out. You can do a lot. But also, if you declutter your life from the habits that are not serving you, that are not empowering you, if you're doing too much of what is draining your energy, also consider to do more of what is charging your energy. And that's something we need to find out, right? It will make a huge shift on your journey. And many spiritual healers are waking up right now to their greatest potential. Because many people are seeking healers that would be able to help them not just on psychological level or emotional level or physical level, but also on spiritual level to see a greater meaning behind why something is happening, why we are suffering with that certain thing, right? So it's truly important to recognize your gift so you can in tune with yourself and recognize where it is guiding you. Because when you in tune with yourself, you will experience what you need to do with that, right? Because there is an inner compass within all of us. And once we recognize it, once we in tune with it, we will know what we need to do. And it will not just appear out of nowhere. We need to start reading our lives. To see our past as a field of lessons. And recognizing why we needed to learn that. Why we needed to go through it. What it taught me. And how can I contribute to humanity with what I've been through. And that's something that often people forget to look at. It because they only search for the signs outside of them. But the biggest signs for your path of ev evolution are experiences you've been through. That's so powerful. To recognize the experiences you've been through as the, the lessons that taught you what you needed to know to help those who are dealing with the same challenges and have no tools to move through it, right? The fifth sign <clears throat> that you are a born spiritual healer is that you are a sensitive being. Like, um, you're able to sense animals. And often children gravitate towards you. Is that you? Like, a cat will just feel you, will come to you, start walking around you, will feel safe around you. Or how often it happens to you that um, you meet a stranger with a dog 
and they dark come to you like it would know you f since forever. And then, then that person, the owner of the dog, says, well, my dog never likes strangers. It's a weird situation. How can he or can can he feel so safe with you? Well, it's because your energy is so pleasant and, and animals can feel it, right? Is that you? Children can feel that kind of an energy as well. That's why they feel safe with you. They feel at home with you. Because your energy is like home. And many people are stressed out. Many people are anxious. Many people are worried. And that's not a pleasant energy to be around, right? And animals can feel it. Kids can feel it. So, also you can feel it. And when you're in peace with yourself, when you're standing strong in your essence, in that peaceful energy, animals will feel it. And that's why they feel so safe with you. And children can feel so safe with you. If that's you, you are a born spiritual healer. The sixth sign is that other people tend to open their emotional baggage onto you like people like to open up to you because they just feel that they can trust you how often it happens that you come to a random place where a random stranger well nothing is random in this universe but it feels like a random stranger come to you and starts opening up all their emotions starts dumping you know to you how often it happens to, to you that way? That people just open up to you. They express what they're moving through. Well, that's your gift, my friends. And it's an incredible gift. Because one of the most powerful tools for healing are deep conversations. Of course, you need to learn to set boundaries. Because too much is too much, right? But enough can be really healing for that person that is that has much to to put out right so when other people come to you opening up and and they start talking what they're moving through and after that conversation they feel lighter it's because there's something unique about your energy and people can feel it that's why people feel safe with you they feel truly at peace with you and often people would describe you as a peaceful person to be around as a person that is really pleasant to be around and that's something that we really need right how often we find people that is just pleasant to be around them even if we don't talk about anything it just feels pleasant to be around we need more people like that so if that's you you're a born spiritual healer. And sometimes, you know, if you don't know what to do with that, you just need to set some intentions because your guides are with you. You are supported. Your heart is guiding you. The compass is guiding you. And sometimes you just need to gain clarity and set an intention to get to where you need to be. Like maybe you don't know what to do with your gifts. And you can set an intention, universe, please show me the way. Please show me what I need to know. And you will see, the universe works in mysterious ways. When you know what you want, it conspires to make things happen for you. And sometimes all we need is a clear intention. All we need is a clear intention. And things will, will appear to you at the right time. Like a video like a book, like a podcast, like a music, like any kind of a sign that can bring you an answer. So pay attention to that. Then the seventh sign that you're born spiritual healer. You are very aware of the interconnectedness of life. We know that everything is interconnected, right? We as humans as spirits having a human experience well on the human level it means it, it seems like we are all separated 
But still we can feel one another. When somebody is in pain, we can feel that pain, right? When somebody is joyful, we can feel the joy. And if we train telepathy, we can communicate with each other telepathically. We are interconnected with nature as well. You go outside and suddenly you feel the calmness of nature. It's not just because you see the stillness of a tree or the stillness of flower or playfulness of the birds, but it's the energy behind it, right? Like the trees are communicating with each other and the animals are, are flying like a unity. Everything is connected. And if you sense in for, since forever that interconnectedness of life, it means that you are a born spiritual healer. The eighth sign is that you've experienced the dark night of the soul. So what's the dark night of the soul? We usually explain the dark night of the soul as the darkest possible experience we've been through. But also the brightest because it was the turning point. It was the experience that reminded us of why we're here. Or it reminded us that it's time to change something majorly. It's time to create a big shift in your life. And often people go through the dark night of the soul and after that they start waking up. After that they start working on their passion projects. After that they start walking on the path of the soul. And if you've been through the dark night of the soul and you've recognized the meaning behind it, or you've also recognized where it started to, to where life started gravitating you towards, towards what life started gravitating you, it's a sign that you are a born spiritual healer. And it's an important sign. Because, you know, sometimes we think we are doing the right thing, but we recognize we've been doing things just out of ego, just out of um, um, desire to just uh, serve to ourselves. But then something heavy happens and we recognize that life is not about us. Life is about people we touch. And we recognize that more that our heart is pure, more that touch will be pure. What we are giving to the world around us is impacting the world around us. And more we are pure, more pure will be the impact, right? And I think we all need more people with a pure heart. And Dark Knight of the Soul is like that transmission when you transmute the pain into a process of healing, you transmute the pain into lightedness. Or better said, you turn the light in the darkest spot of your soul. So the shadow can be enlightened. And that's something truly powerful. So my friends, this is it for today. I hope it can resonate with you. If you found something valuable, let me know in the comment section and I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting as well. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. I want to remind you that on my Instagram page, I draw my passion, we are running a giveaway to win a free print of the painting Creating the, Your Own World. The name of the painting is Creating Your Own World. So go there and check it out and till next time, one love.